poultry farming will remain unprofitable until you are able to control the mortality rate in your farm. Welcome to Dairy Agro Farm, a place of excellence. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please kindly do so now. Thank you and we love you. Chickens are susceptible to many infectious diseases. One of the most important of these is the viral disease known as, known as the Newcastle disease. This Newcastle disease is being prevented using a vaccine called Lasota or there is an organic vaccine known as a Tiger Extract. If you check my previous video, you know the organic vaccine for Newcastle. So, but most people using this synthetic vaccine doesn't know how to use it rightfully, which leads to mortality, high mortality for that extent. So, I will be teaching you today the right way to prevent high mortality, early mortality in your farm as a result of wrong administration of vaccine, Lasota vaccine, the synthetic Lasota vaccine. Lasota vaccine is to be administered to birds from one week of age upward but it will be of interest for you to know that for you to know that most broilers 90 percent of broilers and layers are infectious of coccidiosis disease even before the age of seven seven days so there comes the need for treatment of coccidiosis before administration of lasota vaccine as the rule number one says don't vaccinate sick birds. Failure to treat coccidiosis before the administration of Lasota vaccine might be detrimental. It might lead to high mortality. Therefore, there is a need to treat coccidiosis. There, uh, there is a um, synthetic drug for treatment of coccidiosis. We have amprolium, we have sulfur drugs, and there is also organic drug for treatment of for the treatment of coccidiosis. I'll be sharing with you the organic drug which is very effective and which I am using. Um, this is the preparation. So please kindly watch the preparation of the organic drug. It's very simple. You administer it to your bed before the administration of your vaccine. If you have to be using synthetic vaccine, which I don't use, I formulate the organic vaccine myself. But for the formulation of the organic anti-coccidiosis, Please watch this video to the end and learn how to formulate it. Administer it to your, to your poultry bed before the administration of the uh, Lasota vaccine. So our major ingredient is bitter leaf. This is a fresh bitter leaf. So we are going to extract it, extract the chlorophyll of this bitter leaf. So you can either blend it using your electric blender or you scrub it using your hand. For the uh, purpose of this video, I won't be blending, I will be using my hand to scrub it. This is our ginger. This ginger, fresh ginger, peel and soak for 12, at least 12 hours. So we'll be using the uh, the aqueous extract. This is our garlic, it is peel and soak for 12 hours as well. So we'll be using the aqueous extract too as our anti coccidiosis for the treatment and prevention of coccidiosis. Please kindly subscribe if you have not done that before we continue now i'm trying to scrub this is how we scrub to extract the chlorophyll of the bitter leaf fresh bitter leaf using your aqueous water fresh water so you scrub oh, using your hand oh, you can also oh, blend oh, for the aim of this video oh, i decided oh, to scrub oh, you can blend with electric oh, blender oh, to remove the juice so you see me scrubbing so after scrubbing and extracting so this is the extract that i got from my bitter leaf this is the shaft this is a shaft from the bitter leaf. I can also dry it and mix with the feed. But this is the chlorophyll extract from the bitter leaf which I will be using today. So after extracting it, I will be I will be um, adding the extra uh, the aqueous extract of my ginger and garlic, just a moderate quantity, not too much and not too small. You know, this ginger and garlic, apart from trying to help in the coccidiosis, it also contain a good antioxidant which help to build their immune system so that's why i'll be giving it to them and in fact your best will be very very okay so i just added some quantity of ginger this is my garlic i'll be adding the water i'm adding the extract the water extract aqueous extract so just some little little quantity to mix with the bitter leaf extract and i will administer it to them and you see how they will love it 
The bitter leaf, apart from helping to cure coccidiosis, bitter leaf also boosts growth, broilers growth. It boosts their growth significantly. You can try that. It boosts growth. It's a growth promoter in poultry farming. So, bitter leaf does not just cure coccidiosis, but also boosts growth. But this is the best anti coccidiosis you can ever see in the market. And prolium and all that are not too effective to me. But with this, in fact, you see the changes in the color of their pool and in fact it will tell you that a lot of surgical operations has, has been done in their intestinal wall so you see me sharing it into their drinkers and i'll be feeding them with it so as i was saying earlier ability to control or to treat coccidiosis before administration of lasota vaccine will also help you a lot so if your bears are sick and you do not treat them and you administer your a synthetic vaccine my brother my sister you are doing yourself arm it will lead to mortality so treat them if you know you can uh, you don't have access to all this raw material to prepare the organic anticocidiosis you can get anticocidiosis in your vet shop i told you we have ampullium we have quinolones we have sulfur drugs buy it and treat them before the administration of leila sota vaccine it will help a lot as that is one of the way to prevent early mortality in, in poultry beds. You see people will buy stock 500 broilers, 300 broilers, 1000 broilers and half of it are dead before the 2-3 weeks. So this is one of the mistakes. Vaccinating sick birds. So it's very very bad. As you can see them, they are enjoying this, this concussion. It's really really good on them. So if I want to vaccinate them now, I want to vaccinate them synthetically. After taking this thing, a day after this concussion, I well, I control, best, they I'm very sure that yes, they are very very good. So try to do that. And before we finish this video, let me just give you some of the points that you should know before vaccinating your bed. Kindly note that Newcastle disease vaccine, which we know as Lasota deteriorate after storage for one or two hours at room temperature at room temperature if you store this vaccine for up to one hour or even below that or above that it's ineffective it will cause what we call vaccine failure and that might result to mortality one secondly vaccinating using chlorinated water adding lasota vaccine to a chlorinated water will lead to mortality the chlorine will affect the efficacy of the vaccine. It will lead to mortality too. Thirdly, vaccines will not stay longer than 30 minutes in the poultry house. Don't give them more than 30 minutes. Next, transporting of vaccine from the place of storage to the place of administration should occur in a cool bag or styrofoam box. Don't vaccinate or don't transport your vaccine in an empty box or just inside a, a leather or whatever transport it in a cool container in a cool stuff and again calculate the amount of doses don't just under or underdose them or overdose them as overdose may lead to reaction and under under dosage can lead to vaccine failure Vaccines should be done in healthy beds. I told you that, and that is our first rule. Vaccinating a sick bed may lead to extra stress and an increased mobility and mortality rate. The use of expired vaccine will lead to, will lead to mortality. Exposure of vaccine to direct sunlight will what lead to ineffective of the vaccine, as what direct sunlight as UV radiation, which are latter and which are detrimental to the life viruses in the vaccine so don't um, expose the vaccine to direct sunlight vaccine will be ineffective if there is chlorine and metal material in the water i told you that before and please calculate the doses don't overdose and don't underdose your pets and make sure the place you are buying your vaccine from is a trusted vendor that the storage from the fridge is below 7 degrees Celsius from the day they bought it see when you are buying it. 
please don't use your money don't use your hand to kill your pet if you know this thing is too risky for you formulate hey. your organic <laughs> vaccine i formulate mine i don't use synthetic vaccine why check are you laughing this video check it formulation of organic vaccine see, hello, you see know. how to formulate it's very simple and very effective you don't need to obey many protocol formulate your own vaccine and you'll be at a sure part you, you you laugh to the market at the end of the day you see my best i don't vaccinate them synthetically i give them organic vaccine and they are doing super they are doing excellent they are doing great please adapt to this and enjoy it don't use your money don't use your hand to key your bed formulate your drug avoid vaccinating sick bed avoid vaccinating in best that are having coccidiosis please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that and enjoy more beautiful and interesting educative videos thank you for your time i love you and my best so they are saying hi that they love you too thank you please obey the rule of vaccination if you must vaccinate your best thank you